Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings, but this time it's a little bit different. I'm going to be doing my first product review. So today, I'm going to be reviewing this bad boy, the Pokemon Battle Styles Lunchbox. There's the back, looking sick. Uh, so quickly, in a nutshell, uh, this retailed for $25. I got it in a huge uh, haul at Target. I'll put up the picture of everything that I got at Target right now. <laughs> the haul at Target, um, I got pretty lucky. It was pretty cleaned out already when I got there. But obviously, I got a lot of boosters, 30 total. 23 of those are actually from Target though. Technically seven of those are from Walmart. That was all they had left at Walmart. And uh, the tins as well as this lunchbox. Back to me. Ooh, ha. So uh, I'm going to open this up. We're going to go over all the details of what's inside of it and figure out is it worth the $25 retail, let alone what's being charged in the aftermarket, which is already starting to exceed $35, $40. But it comes with five booster packs and much more but i didn't notice this when i first got it so we're gonna look we're gonna open it up to be sure but i'm pretty sure that not all five of the boosters are actually battle styles so that's my first warning about this because it is a battle styles thing so if you didn't really read into it too closely or look too closely you might just assume that the five boosters are battle styles but i'm not sure that they actually are now that I have the plastic off of this though, we can get a really good look at it. So it's actually surprisingly good quality. Like it's really shiny and impressive looking in my opinion. I really, really like it. Um, the handle doesn't feel super cheap, although it is plastic. That part's not metal, but like, it feels like something that I could use to take my lunch to work. Like, I, like, it's not, it doesn't feel super cheap. Now, as soon as I open it, I will say that there is a plastic insert. So, this was in the top, and there's definitely some misplacement. So, this card was a little bit askew, kind of like that. And this coin is supposed to be up here, and this coin is supposed to be here, but it's not fully inserted. So... Things definitely got ruffled around a little bit, and as such, you can see that there is a bend, unfortunately, in this card. Uh, these are not promo cards, by the way, which that's surprising. These are actual cards. Let's see if we can get the other one out now. The other one's actually in there properly. The Tepig was like all sorts of loose. So this one's not as bad in the bend but there's still clearly a bend and again these are actual cards not promo cards so i would definitely be looking to i don't think i would put these like in my main collection as soon as i found other versions of this that weren't bent like these are gonna be these are gonna go into my copy pile for sure because um uh, they're definitely worse for wear but I do like that they give you those because if you're into so if you are into the battle game, then already this is a decent buy because you're getting two of the new cards that have like new actions to them. These coins, however, are pretty impressive. It's hard to see details on it, uh, especially on camera, uh, but they are super. You can see the details on the red a little bit more than the blue, but both they're good sized coins. First of all, they're a lot bigger than the Pokemon coins normally are, so I appreciate that. And now, the next layer to this thing is the boosters. And so you can see this is how they come in that. Now the top two are battle styles, but I think that's where the battle styles end. So underneath that is a uh, base set Sun and Moon, which obviously most people that buy this probably wouldn't be interested in. There is a, a Vivid Voltage, which that is definitely a good score. We're obviously, ultimately, we would want it to be all battle styles. But uh, Vivid Voltage, not bad. That's still a very relevant set. The last one was a 
uh, base sword and shield. So again, probably not what most people are after. Suddenly, not, certainly not sun and moon, and certainly, certainly not sun and moon base. That's definitely them just trying to pad it, you know, with some extra stuff. And then there is a code underneath all that. So there's a code for you guys. There's more in here though. So underneath that, <laughs> I, th I think I swear to God, I think there's stickers. Hold on. Oh. Okay. So there actually is stickers, which fun. There's a lot of stickers. Holy heck. Okay, I'm already gonna say this is totally worth the extra four dollars and thirty cents, like hundred uh, percent. If you enjoy Pokemon and you're not just into collecting the cards and you enjoy Pokemon, like. Wow, there's a lot in here. Like, if you like showing off your love of Pokemon, there's a ton. So all of these things that I'm, all these cards that I'm showing you right now, these are all stickers. And I mean, like, there is a ton of them. So if you want to dress up your notebook or whatever, or the lunchbox for that matter, you can definitely do that. There is a ton. And then there is this, like, sketch pad um let's see if all the pages are the same they are but so there's a sketch pad and although the very first page has a little bit of rub off from the product that was above it the rest doesn't uh so you got a notepad here and there's something else buried underneath all of it dig that out oh it's one of these uh card protectors it's got they hold 60 cards um, not the best if you want to keep your cards in really good shape, but, um, still it's a way to protect it. And now that that is all out, let me get this. Yeah, it's not, I mean, you know, it's not bad. Like, obviously it's not for what it is. Again, like you could realistically use this, uh, but for what it is, this is pretty good just the lunchbox by itself so i'm gonna say again 100 percent worth the 25 dollars retail and i mean obviously it's gonna be hard to find this retail but i would argue that uh you know if you find it not too bad on the aftermarket maybe like uh 30 35 I mean, I could see paying 30, 35 bucks for this. Uh, I think 40 might be pushing it. Maybe if all of the packs were battle styles, but I do feel like it might be pushing it. But certainly for retail, if you see this in the store, I would get at least one of them. Uh, I don't know if the packs are worth buying multiples um, just for the packs, but yeah. So I'm gonna save obviously the battle styles for last. This is my first battle styles that I'll be opening. So we'll start with the Sun and Moon pack. That's probably the least desired out of all of them, right? So <laughs> we get that out of the way. But I, I am actively, I'm for those of you that watch me regularly, I am actively working on my Sun and Moon set still, uh, being that I'm, I was not collecting Pokemon cards when Sun and Moon was the current generation. So I'm okay with getting Sun and Moon, especially if I get something that I don't have yet. So, but let's just blast through these. Brion, Big Malasada, Grima, Spiro, Grubin, Firo, Snubble, Energy Switch is my reverse hollow, and a Premierian, which I don't think I actually have that, so I will take it. So that's the sun and moon out of the way. Now, let's do the Sword and Shield base set, because that would probably be the second least desired out of it. Um, but definitely something that I'm actively working on. Actually, I only think I have, like, I think I have less than 100 out of, like, the 200-something cards that you can get in base Sword and Shield. So I still have a ways to go. I have pretty much all of the commons and uncommons, but I still have a long way to go on rares and stuff like that. When you have like single packs like this in a you know box like this, you know like I don't have huge expectations for pulling something crazy, but it's also kind of fun because like what if you do? You know what I mean? Like there's only one Sword and Steel base set. Like what if the one 
rare in here is insane. You know what I mean? Hey, look at that. See? What did I just say? That's not too bad. Stone Jenner V. I mean, it's not crazy crazy, but, I mean, for the one card that I'm going to get out of it, for that to be at least a V, pretty sweet. Obviously, my review of the product would not be based on the cards that I get, because that's going to be randomized. The code for you. All right, so we got our Leaf Energy, Dewat, and Automatic Energy. Heroes Metal, Deldum, Blitzel, Milsery. Oh my gosh, double pulls. There's the Skittle I pulled, Trubbish. My Reverse Hollow is a Dust Skull, and Clefable. So nothing, nothing crazy in the Vivid Voltage, but that's okay. Because now on to the stuff that I have never opened. But don't worry, I have many, many, many to come. So besides those 30 boosters that you saw in the picture I posted earlier, uh, I have, I pre-ordered two boxes of boosters. So that's 72 booster packs that hopefully we'll be getting here shortly. Hopefully I don't have to wait too long for those to show up. But uh, in the meantime, I have those battle styles. And I actually... Um, this is a little bit out of order. I'm going to go through these a little bit slower because these are all new to me. Um, oh, that's weird. The second card that I pulled is a reverse of Mr. Rhyme. I got a reverse rare on the second card that I pulled. What's going on? And then that's my rare. What happened here? How are these at? What? How are these that out of order? I definitely did four to the back. What the order is not different for these, is it? The Amper is cute. That was super weird. Lickitung Zubat looks cool. And then that's my first legitimate pull of a rapid strike, Remoread. That's super weird. What happened there? Um two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing cards. I'm missing cards. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight cards in this booster pack of ten cards. That's why the four trick didn't work. There's only eight cards. I've never... I've gotten an extra card one time. And I've gotten extra codes before. I've opened a couple packs that had two code cards. I thought it felt weird when I opened it. I was like, why does this feel weird? But I didn't like think into it too much. Well, that's really disappointing. I literally got gypped at it. Obviously, I still got the rare and the reverse. Those are the ones that I care the most about, but I still got gypped out of two cards. That is wild. So I actually recorded uh, a couple episodes before this one that I was going to post, but then because I got lucky and found some battle style stuff in store, uh, like retail, those got put on the back burner, so you're still going to see those, but they're going to kind of get mixed in with the battle style stuff. So just a heads up, because in some of those videos, um, I'm like opening tins and other things where I might be referring to like opening up battle style cards in the future, and the future is now. <laughs> so just a heads up to the people that regularly... Okay, so we got this card that we already got for free. Well, not for free, but that the gimme card that was bent. So now I don't have to worry about the bent card actually being in my collection. So that's good. Timber. And there's the other one, Tepig. Okay, so there you go. So I don't have to have either of the bent cards in my collection. Uh, single Strike Energy is my reverse. And a Victory Bowl is my rare. So nothing too crazy for the first two packs. But I don't expect to get like the most coveted cards right away in the first two boosters that I open. Especially when one of them is missing cards. I still can't believe that is like wild, but whatever. So we did get a V, not from uh, Battle Styles, but uh, still, I'll take it. At least we got something out of it. That random mistake besides, uh, aside, because again, we can't hold them accountable for the the cards that come in it uh i'd still say that yes the the lunchbox is totally worth it 
but I would say that you could probably limit yourself to just one, uh, unless for some reason you're a huge fan of the stickers, uh, because I don't know how else you would get those stickers, and they are really uh, cool stickers, and there are a lot of them. Um, I can't, the, the pack value is not worth buying it, unless um, the shortage gets really bad again on Pokemon cards. I feel like they're starting to make their way into retail stores a little bit more, uh, and it's not as hard to find them. But if the shortage gets really bad and you're super desperate for boosters, obviously this is a way to get them. Uh, and like I said, they on the aftermarket, they're not way up on price. Like a lot of times when you see like ETBs or, you know, battle boxes, whatever, like they're like double, triple the retail price. These aren't that bad. You're, you're going to pay five, ten dollars over retail. That's not horrible. Uh, so I would, I would recommend at least one of these, uh, just, you know, to say that you have it. I think the lunchbox, if you don't use it as a lunchbox would work good on display. And if you're really into it, you could, I guess, theoretically have two cause you could display both sides cause the back is really cool. So maybe worth it for a second one. If you're a big fan of stickers, <laughs> just because then you would have two to put on display next to each other. I do think these would look good next to each other. And if I had a good spot on my shelf, I could see doing that. I actually might even think about taking the handle off the top and stacking them just for the look of it. Just pulling it off of one of them. And then the other one, I guess, stays functional. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate the view and support as always. Make sure, if you haven't already, subscribe and click the bell icon because I've got a lot more Pokemon stuff coming down the pipeline, including more battle styles. The next one that I do of battle style stuff is going to actually be a big bundle of those boosters that I showed in the beginning of the video. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate it, and I will see you next time.